Hi, in this video I am going to explain cost sheet. So what is the meaning of cost sheet? It calculate and summarize the total cost of production. So generally if you take any product, the cost of product can be classified into three categories. First one, let us see the elements of cost. Elements of cost means what are all the costs involving in the production process that combinedly called as elements of cost. So generally cost can be classified into three categories. First one material. Material cost which is incurred at the time of acquiring the raw material from the supplier. That cost is called material cost. That is a major portion of cost. And second one labor cost. Labor cost means uh, the wages paid to laborer, those who are directly involving in production process. It's called labor cost. And third one, other expense. Any other expenses, that is uh, after material cost and labor cost, you will incur some other expenses which is related to production. It's called other expense. I'm going to explain what are all the other expenses which is related to material, labor and other expenses. If you take all these things, material also classified into two categories. One is direct material, another one is indirect material cost. Direct material cost means Amount paid at the time of acquiring the raw material. Raw material it is, a, it is a important thing which is required for production. That expense is called direct material. And any other material cost which is not directly involved for production but it is also important thing which is comes under element of cost is called indirect material cost. And second one labor. So labor also classified into two categories. One is direct labor. Another one is indirect labor cost. So direct labor means uh, the people involving in the production process they are entitled to get wage from the company. That expense is called direct labor. They are directly involving in the production process. Indirect labor cost means uh, this amount that is uh, the employee those who are involving in the organization they are doing some work they are also entitled to get the salary from the company but they are not directly involving in production process that expense that wage or that salary is comes under indirect labor and third one other expenses again other expenses classified into two categories one is direct other expense another one is indirect other expenses so direct expense means any expenses which is directly involving in production process apart from material and labor some other expenses but this expense incurred directly for production process is called direct other expense indirect other expense means which is also expense but which is not directly involving in production process is called indirect other expenses now all these indirect expenses that is indirect material that is indirect material indirect labor and indirect other expenses all these three indirect expense combinedly called as overheads overheads means indirect expense it may be indirect material it may be indirect labor cost or indirect other expenses so this is combinedly called as overheads again overheads are classified into three categories number one is factory overheads second one office and administrative overheads third one selling and distribution overheads factory overheads means it is a indirect factory expenses indirect factory expense means any indirect expense which is related to factory for example factory rent depreciation for machinery so machinery which is required for production process but depreciation it's not a direct expense it is an indirect expense so that it is comes under factory overheads 
and second one is office and administrative overheads office and administrative means office people for example employees working in the front office and uh, office rent uh, uh stationary item all these things used in office for administrative purpose so that expense called as office and administrative overheads overheads means indirect expense and then last one is selling and distribution expense after the production you need to incur some expenses which is required for distribution purpose for example advertisement delivery charges salesman commission salesman salary all these things which is required for selling and distribution it is also one of the important element of cost but which is comes under indirect expense why because it is not incurred during the production process after the production now the product is ready for consumption that is after production we need to incur some additional expenses all additional expenses called as overheads this can be classified into three categories factory overheads administrative overheads selling and distribution overheads with this knowledge now we can easily understand cost sheet a cost sheet means a it is a statement where we can record the total cost of production so with the help of cost sheet we can able to know how much cost the total cost incurred to produce a particular product so we can calculate we can compare the total cost as well as cost per unit so let us see the cost sheet first we need to take opening stock that is last year closing stock will be the opening stock for the current year and current year if we made any additional purchase that we need to add along with the opening stock and then after manufacturing the product if we have any unused stock that we need to subtract that is less closing stock which is not used for this current year and after deducting this you will get actual raw material consumed or used during this year is called raw material consumed that is direct material and add direct labor and direct expense i explained you know that is three expenses uh, which is related to elements of cost which is related to production is called prime cost so prime cost is nothing but direct material used direct labor direct expense all these three things combinedly called as prime cost after finding prime cost the next step is all overheads i explained you know there are three types of uh, overheads first one is factory overheads office and administrative overheads third one selling and distribution overheads so we need to add each and every overhead separately in order to calculate three different things so after finding prime cost add factory overheads factory means work overheads and then you will get factory cost that is work cost factory or work cost both are same meaning only and after finding the factory cost the second step is office and administrative overheads that is any expenses related to office and administrative purpose all expenses all indirect expenses which comes under this category and add after adding this you will get cost of production then after finding cost of production you need to consider the third category that is selling and distribution overheads now the product is ready for consumption and we need to incur some additional expenses for example packing delivering van de using delivery charges advertisement salesman salary salesman commission agent commission all these things are called as indirect expenses that is indirect overhead which comes under selling and distribution overheads and after adding this you will get the total cost of sales this is the total cost of production or total cost of sales and after finding this now you need to fix the selling price for your product so while you make or while you fix the selling price you need to calculate how much profit is expected and that you have to add along with the cost of sales after finding this only you can able to calculate the selling price that is after adding profit you will get selling price of the particular product Thanks to watch this video if you like this please share with your friends